Coffee is one of the oldest drinks ever known in the Middle East and is particularly popular with the Bedouins. Coffee drinking is associated with socializing and conversation and forms an integral part of the culture and traditions of this region. Serving Arabic coffee is an important part of hospitality in Arab societies and is a tradition that dates back many centuries. It's considered to be a ceremonial act of generosity and hospitality. Preparing and drinking Arabic coffee is classified within social practices, rituals and festive events. It is also related to traditional crafts. As there is a set of tools for coffee that can be decorated, such as the coffee pot, coffee cups and the coffee preparation tools. Arabic coffee also has its links with the performing arts, as the process of grinding coffee is often accompanied with singing. Arabic coffee is made from coffee beans, usually from the Yemen. Traditionally, the whole process of making coffee is performed in front of the guests by the coffee maker, or mugawi. The coffee beans are lightly roasted in a shallow metal pan placed over the fire and stirred until they change colour. They are then ground in a stone grinder, which also has a small hole in the centre to add the cardamom. The coffee grinds are then added to a pot of water which is boiled and poured into a serving pot known as a dala. Arabic coffee is always served piping hot in very small cups which do not have handles. It has a slightly bitter taste and is usually brewed with cardamom, although sometimes other spices are added. It is often served with dates. The etiquette of coffee drinking is observed by community members and passed on from one generation to another. Coffee is often served in homes and in the majlis and it's customary for the host to provide the coffee. The Mogawi would hold the coffee pot in his left hand and a number of cups in the right. The guest is served just enough coffee to cover the bottom of the cup and after he drinks it the cup will be filled again and again. 
When the guest has had sufficient coffee, he will indicate this by wiggling the cup from side to side. The common practice, though, is to drink one cup only, as a symbol of accepting the hospitality of the host. There are a number of proverbs, riddles and folk stories about coffee, its importance and its customs and traditions. For example, when people are in dispute, drinking coffee together often indicates that their problems have been resolved. Serving Arabic coffee nowadays remains an important part of hospitality and is linked to other customs and traditions. It's usually the first thing that is served to the guest. The phrase used to invite guests is, please come and have some coffee, although there will be other drinks and food that would be served. Arabic coffee is drunk by all men and women in the community. Although modern techniques of coffee making are also widespread, people are still eager to make coffee in the traditional way. It is celebrated as part of the intangible cultural heritage of the United Arab Emirates, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Sultanate of Oman and the state of Qatar.